Hello everybody, I'm Joe. I'm Jamie. I'm Jamie. And we are J3. We're playing <laughs> Will You Press the Button? A game where we're going to do a majority rules kind of thing. Yeah. We're all going to discuss each one between us. And then Let's go see from which there. one of us is a horrible human being. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yep. This is, you find out exactly how our brain works, which is probably not going to be good for us at all. Yeah. We don't want this inward reflection. What are we doing here? But Jimmy, explain the game. Right. So if you push the button, that means that you want this reality to come true. Uh, so for this first example, you will get infinite wealth, love, and health, but you have uncontrollable bowel and blood. <laughs> so would you press the button? So you can skip it, but you can push the button, and this would happen in this hypothetical. Don't they uh, contradict each other, those two prompts? No. Why? Well, the infinite oh, health. Oh, health, yeah. But yeah. Health, like but... Health yeah. suggests that you don't have bowel and bladder problems. I guess. Don't believe this. Okay, all health except yeah. uncontrollable bowel, bowel and bladder problems. I reckon, because mm. you can just get like a, to get a, a bag. You get like those fancy bags now. I saw one that came up on a Wish advert not too long ago. It just wraps around your legs and it's very inconspicuous. Yeah, I don't see this one being much of a problem. Like, yeah. you've got obviously love, wealth and health. So if I've got a way to control my bladder and bowels, then... Yeah, obviously the person who loves me doesn't really care about the bowel and blood problem, so I'm thinking, yeah. uh, who cares? Sorry, yeah. I'm a little bit torn, honestly. Because it's, <laughs> it's more just like, if it's uncontrollable, does that mean it could be happening constantly? Yeah. Which then kind of rules well, the rest of it a little bit pointless because you can't make the most of it because you're constantly shitting and pissing yourself. Well, yeah. no, because once you're empty, you're empty, <laughs> though, surely. Yeah. yeah. Depends. <laughs> you have to be really good at fasting very quickly. If you're uncontrollable, <laughs> you, your bowels and bladder can only uh, excrete stuff if there's stuff in it to begin with. Mm -hmm. Maybe in this hypothetical reality, that is what happens. It just keeps filling itself up. <laughs> You've got like infinite, <laughs> in, infinite poo and wee. Maybe. But that, that hasn't told us that in that prompt. So we're no. just going to assume That's that true. bladder and bowels work as they normally do. They're just uncontrollable. Oh, one that opened on. Yeah. <laughs> right. I'm saying yes. I'm saying yes Go as well. It. Bam. Ooh, we're part of the 48%. Oh, wow. Gasp. Interesting. They didn't think into this well enough, clearly. <laughs> They're loss. We get money and f wealth and fame and whatever else. Yeah. Right. Anything other than immortality, you desire will become yours, or you'll become whatever it is desired. But you'll go to hell if the powers are used. I press that button immediately. Are you comfortable going to hell? Yep. Fair enough. Can you still use your powers in hell? and torture. Well, it's because I don't know if it's going to happen or not. But I don't know if I don't know if hell's real. In this reality, and I, and we for, would be there, wouldn't it? This, for being able to do whatever telling... I want for a while, I think I'm willing to take that gamble. But this is basically, I think that yeah. for this prompt's sake, it's telling you hell, hell is real and that's where you're going. Exactly. You will, not if there is hell, yeah. you will go. But it's like all but guaranteeing it. Pretty much, yeah. What I'm if not it keen says on other this. Other than immortality, but you could be like, well, I want to live for X amount of years. I guess Nine, you could, <laughs> Nine billion you years You could be like I don't want to get old And I want to live for 5,000 years <laughs> And then You've had your fair share but I guess that, Is that something hell. you want to live though? I don't know Maybe It'll stop you going to hell for a while Yeah Hell's a bit harsh isn't it? It's but like you live for like 80 years Anything you desire you Will become yours torture. Or you will become Whatever is desired What if you said God Then can you go to hell? What well, happens then? God's immortal So I Paradox. guess it doesn't count I feel like Whatever I do for the next 60, 70 years reflecting on thousands and thousands of thousands of years of torture, I think I'll pass. Yeah, same. <laughs> I, I, I'm not keen. I feel like we're going to disagree on all that. I'm going to be the other one out on Jay. all of these. No, it's good. It's... <laughs> ah, uh, another close split. But we're part of the majority. Those damn bottom pushers. <laughs> <laughs> that was interesting. I like that one. You get to go to Hogwarts, but you get thrown into Slytherin. Oh, yeah, fuck. Oh, yeah, fine. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'll do that. Yeah, totally yeah, easily. <laughs> yeah. It's probably the one I'd choose to go for. Oh, man. The Slytherin only had a few bad be like hardcore Harry Potter fans. They'd be yeah. like, no! <laughs> I'm a Hufflepuff through and through. Why would you not want to go to Hogwarts just because you're in Slytherin? Yeah, that's easy, man. Yeah, easy peasy. Yeah, Slytherin wasn't a bad Harry Seaver. It's just Although, bad eggs in it. Actually, thinking about this logically, <laughs> though, nothing ever went well for every year Harry Potter went to school. Exactly. Well, yeah, Some but he's not there anymore. Something went tits up. 
<laughs> He's at his time in the sun. Although, it's our turn. Was the, the reason everything was going wrong was because of him. That's what I was going to say. What if it was all going wrong because he was there, but yeah. now he's not there. Everything's all hunky-dory. Maybe. And you get swagged the basement as well to live in. <laughs> I mean, I still would pick yes, but I'm just curious. Oh, what's this one? You have the party of your dreams, but their breath smells like shit and nothing can make it smell better. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not pressing that. I already have the partner in my dreams. Uh, so, like, see you later. The her breath doesn't dreams, smell. Having the partner of your dreams is fine, but like you have to be attracted to them. And if their breath just smells like shit constantly, it's one of your I feel like it'd be really hard to be like fully attracted yeah. to them. Yeah, I agree. I'm not I saying agree. that bad breaths are like bad because it happens sometimes, but having it always there and it's absolutely rancid, yeah. I don't think I can do that. I'm out. See it. <laughs> Easy. Easy. Mm -hmm. Some people really wanted Kira Knightley, apparently. I don't know why I went to Kira Knightley. <laughs> I was thinking of the freaking Jack Sparrow song. Jimmy's dream partner, then. <laughs> Kira Knightley, hit us up. It's not actually, be part of the it's, channel. If I had to have choose a celebrity crush, I think I'd choose Alison Brie. That's a good choice. You can see any event happen in the world, but subsequently, you're forced to see an event you don't want to witness. Yeah. So you can see live porn but <laughs> <laughs> then you have to I don't know you have to watch some ho I don't know I'd press that you'd have to watch poo porn know. as well <laughs> I'd press <Yeah>. that <laughs> my reason being is you don't have to exercise using this power at all but you at least have the option of having it I guess because you could be like all right like maybe one day I'll give it a shot and see like what but what you can it's get about. you can get something that would sky you for life but you don't absolutely have, change your world view you don't have to use it you don't have to. But to have the power in a, you know, let's I wouldn't be able go. to control myself. I, I, oh, yeah, you yeah. are. Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> this, this isn't saying you have the power to see anything happen in the world. It's just if you click the button, that means you will see an event happen in the world. Yeah. I think. No, I think it means you, uh, okay. as in like. I Yeah, I read it as like, you oh, right. like have the, but, but Joe's, he makes a good point. Maybe it is just like a one time thing. You press it and you can see whatever you want, but then you have to watch something after. If it's a one-time thing, I'd push it. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Even though you could get scarred from it? I mean, I've seen some pretty horrible things on 4 <laughs> <laughs> When I, when I was already a teen, in 2006 or whatever it was. <laughs> I, think, I think I'd press this. I'd, I'd go with it, too. I'd go with it, too. Go on. Buff. Oh, another one. one. These are really good. It's a close one. A lot of close ones. Guys, we haven't logged in. How will we track our record? <laughs> What's the best comment? So I become the doctor. <laughs> I guess. Anyway, um, you can wish for any game you want, and only you. What? And only you. Have oh, it's only a game that you want, so you can't wish for a game that someone else wants. Oh, Half Life Three, etc. Yeah. Each game you wish for gets progressively worse than the last, thus ruining your favorites. Oh, so your first wish would be good, but then each time you wish for a new game, say like someone wants Last of Us Three or whatever. It'll just get worse the more times you wish on it. So um, you can wish for a game that it looks like you can wish for a game that doesn't exist. Yeah. And so you, could, I could be like, I really want a Portal Three, and it'd be really good. But then the more I use it, the worse the games get. Yes, as I, you know, I interpret it. I'd I, 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 I'd I look it. at it as you can wish for multiple games. You can wish for as you can wish for yeah, any yeah. game you want. Yes. But the first one you wish for would be the best one. Yep. And then it'll slowly get worse at each one you wish for. It sounds like heroin. So you could <laughs> just use it once, I guess. Yeah, you could. Actually, you, that's true. Like, make the most out. Or maybe, like, do it twice, maybe yeah. three times. Because it says only each so, game you wish for will get progressively worse. Nothing's stopping you from buying a great game after that. That's, that's how we do it now. Exactly. There's yeah. going to be a line of tolerance, isn't there? Easy. And <gasps> when you cross it, then you'll be like, I'm done. Loophole. Gone. Maybe. Could you w just keep wishing for them and then, like, trade in those games for... <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> for ones you actually want. I guess here, I'm oh, wait, no, I guess you couldn't because would they exist? It says an only you. Does that mean that only you can play it? I think so. Yeah, yeah I think oh, so. Then you won't be able to trade them in because they'll be like, well, this isn't real. Yeah, I guess. Not a loophole. Still pushing it, though. But I'd, you can still that. do the thing that we said about wishing for the best game ever yeah. and then yeah. buying every other game after that. I'd push that. And it's one free game. Players. That's what this wish is for. Oh, interesting. What? It's, they didn't think it through properly. They, it, they thought. Slow down. Someone on Team Sonic pressed the button. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't press the button. Nice. <laughs> Whoever pressed this is an idiot. We're all idiots, boys. It says you can wish for any game you want, not that you'll get it. Right. What? I don't. I think. I think we know who the idiot is. Press the button. 
Exclamation mark, exclamation mark, exclamation mark, exclamation mark. Hi, smart guy, lol. <laughs> but yeah, I think this me I would assume this means it would come to reality. Bonk. Right, you can see for all clothing, you can't turn the power off. <laughs> no. I, I, wouldn't, don't. I wouldn't press nah, that. No. Nope. It. <laughs> it's more like a moral thing for me. Like, that's intrusive. Yeah. Just, but True. I know that people won't know you're doing it, but that makes it worse. Yeah. <laughs> that would make me feel horrible. I don't fancy that. Nice, quick one. Although... Oh. A lot of perverts out there. there yeah, a lot of... Yell horny, go watch some porn. It's online, it's free. <laughs> <laughs> You'll never be overweight. Finally. But you must eat enough calories for 10 people daily or begin to suffer in the cell. I'm pressing that. <laughs> yep. This is getting smashed in 93. <laughs> give Joe a chance to answer. He's just like, yep. <laughs> I would have said no, because I'm, I'm not ever getting overweight. And now I have to eat 10... Although... <laughs> I don't see harm in eating that much food, though. I probably And not gain that. weight, so, yeah. Exactly, because it doesn't necessarily have to be large volume. You can get, like, dense, buttery cakes and stuff. It just says, though, you'll never be overweight. It doesn't say anything about you won't have serious health problems in, like, a week. <laughs> see, I imagined it would, like, balance. Like, if you hit the calorie limit, then nothing bad will happen. If you go over that, then you start dying. But then, if you don't, you I guess this is the risk of pressing the button that maybe Joe's right. Yeah. It's like we've got to take it as literally as it's spelled out. It's too late. Me and Jamie are too excited. Well, that's <laughs> what I'm going with. That's, what I'm, that's how I assume these things work. This sounds that fucking awesome. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> that is a good point. Someone said it would be expensive. I didn't think about that. Yeah. Uh, ah, just straight up press the button. Like, yep, yeah, bosh. Yeah, you, you don't get the food for free. Yeah. And he's, he's right. Got me there. He's right, you know. <laughs> Make a million dollars a year. They just sit in an empty room completely naked, eight hours a day, seven days a week. No. No. no What's the point not. in having a million if all you're doing is... Yeah. Yeah. If you have to what? sit in a room for seven, seven days a week. Seven oh. I do five days a week, not seven. Eight hours a day. Wait, can't you make that eight hours a day when you're sleeping? You have to sit. You, you have to sit in an em empty get room. Comfortable. Well, maybe you can teach yourself to sleep sitting. <laughs> seven days a week, though. You know, you'd get no free time. No, it's, well, you, you're asleep at eight hours a day, aren't you? Yeah, yeah but, true. Uh, yeah, you could try. Depends how leaning they are on sit. Yeah. yeah. It, it says, like, if we're taking it at face value, it's sit is sit. It's not sleep or lie sleeping, down. we're sleeping, that yeah. still means you'd have to sleep without a duvet or, like, any sort of cover. Yeah, because you're completely naked. So yeah, in, true. in winter, it's going to be big chills. Yeah, nah. But you can turn the heating up in the room. <laughs> True. Can you? Well, it says an empty room. Does that mean there's no radiators? Oh, maybe. <gasps> this is a plain cube. Oh, that means no bed either. You just got to sleep on the floor. Yeah. Cross legs. I, I still don't think it's worth it. Nah. I, I wouldn't want to work seven days a week. Yeah. To not be able to do like eight hours, seven days a week. That sound. I don't. I don't like the sound of that. What if you can? You make a million dollars a year, right? So what if you like build an empty room to take with you that you can affect the outside atmosphere with, but. You know, once a day, you're just sitting there for eight hours, go in a meditative state, and then go back to whatever you're doing, put your clothes back on, and have a good time. Say you're on a yacht, right? And you've got like one room in the yacht that's literally just blank canvas. Close the door behind you. Maybe at night time or whatever, who knows? You could fall asleep while you're sitting there. No one, no, this, this suggests no one can see you. You can control the weather or, or the weather, the temperature on the yacht. I think you could make it happen if you spend it wisely. You still gotta be sat though. It's a long way around it, but I see what you're getting at. I yeah. see what you're getting at. You figure out a way to make it work. It's a lot more than I make already, so <laughs> <laughs> I would make it work. But there's a million a year. It'll be yeah. a while before you have enough money to do this, probably a few, like a couple of months at least. And then in that two months, you would have already spent, I don't know what, 48 days. Yeah. I'm pretty sure yachts are more expensive than a million as well. <laughs> True. But you can get a decent downward payment on it. You can get a mortgage on one. Yeah. I don't know. I'd say yes, but I have a feeling you guys are no. I, I don't think it's worth it. I personally. think I'll go with a no as well. Cool. Ooh, that's close. That's when I sleep. So they had the same idea. <laughs> Give me a computer and I'm cool with it. Empty room. Yeah, you can just like, if you like got it well into like meditation and stuff, you could just blast through it. But it's naked and cold. Sleep could be bad. But the house of your dreams, but the house will reside in the poorest part of Africa. It'd be a bit harsh. Your house will get torn down immediately because you can't just build a posh house in a slum. Yeah, it wouldn't survive Yeah, very long. I wouldn't want the house of my dreams to be nowhere near anyone I am friends with or love. Fair nah. enough. Cool. So I think I think that's not worth it. Yeah, like, no. Do, even if it said it was in like a completely different country, like 
And if it said Japan, I feel like you'd be like, I'm done. <laughs> but for me, if it was Japan, I'd be like, it's, it doesn't even, like, I'd be away from everyone that I love. Like, I'd rather not. It's fair enough. You could say, though, if it's in Africa, or even if it's in Japan or anywhere, you have the house of the dreams, you can make that like a, a 10 million pound house, sell it, and have 10 million pounds. <laughs> Move straight back here. But you can yeah. try to sell it for 10 million pounds, because the value would obviously be reflected in the area it, that it's in. Well, e either way, you'll you'll make a lot of money from it. True. You can make well, a lot somebody. of money from it. <laughs> So what are you saying? Yeah, nay. I'm saying. I'll, I'll go with yes. It's a name from me. Ah, nay. But the money, guys. Oh. It doesn't say you have to live there. I'll let everyone stay in it. Ah, we suck. <laughs> there you go. It's an idea. Once I got it, sell it. Yeah. Buy another one. My country. Man. Boom. Red Long Joe's train of thought. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Next. You can jump into any TV show you please, as though you were a character in it. You'd be relatively unattractive to all the other characters. Fine. <laughs> um, my my goal here is not to be attractive to other people but to live a fantasy life <laughs> yeah it depends what role you're going for if I can be like an ugly John Krasinski playing his character in the Tom Clancy show then running and gunning and having a good time just by looking a little bit uglier doesn't really matter to me as long as they're not be like oh god put a face mask on <laughs> I think the thing for me is I don't care about being in TV shows but if you can go into like the world of Adventure Time, for example, that'd be pretty cool for a day. Yeah, does this mean like, uh, is this suggesting though that you'll be on TV and people will be watching you, or is it you can be in a TV show uh, and then it'll be real life, but you'll be one of the characters in it? As oh yeah, you're a character. My in brain it. was like, you'd like jump into the TV and you just like live out the fantasy world. I, that's kind of where I'm going with it. Oh, I thought you meant Whereas, like, you'd be an actor. Uh, okay, I thought of it more of like a you jump like you could jump into, you could just turn up and be in Friends. That like, that's how I was. Right. Okay. That's how I was perceiving it. But I now understand where you two are coming from. That it's more like a like you said you could just jump into a cartoon, yeah. and then you're in it. In that case, I'd be a bit more up for it because it'd be cool to like experience it. But like, I, I also wouldn't care about being attractive to any of the other characters. Yeah, that's why I'd be happily press it because there's no. Yeah. There's no downside. <laughs> I guess. Well, assuming you're able to come back. <laughs> Oh yeah, I assume you would. Oh yeah, that's a good, that's a good point. Can you come back? Yeah, more clarification required. Oh, <laughs> you can jump into any TV show. It's a kind of suggestion you can jump back out and jump into another one. I don't know. Because yeah, does it know. just mean the one? Yeah. Is yeah. it like before, where it was like the game thing or whatever? It was just like, oh, it could just be one. <laughs> on base on that basis, I'll say no. Yeah. I say no if it's just the one. I can't get back out. Yeah. All right. Cool. Right. We're in agreement. Ooh. Minority here. Nearly 50-50 split. I'm already unattractive. Wee, <laughs> nice. <laughs> Nothing new here. Wee. What? <laughs> Barack Obama dies, but Poland starts ruling the world. I'm interested to see how many people have pressed the button on this one. I don't know what I'd choose. It'd be sad to see Obama die. What would Poland do with ruling the world? They'd... Probably... Hmm? I, I can't see them doing anything bad with it. There's nothing, know, there's no part of this that makes people like, hmm, I'd like to know. Like, I don't, so I don't want Barack Obama to die, but also I don't want a specific country to rule the world. So yeah, if yeah. we say I will not, then business as usual, right? Yeah, yeah exactly. Then no. I'm in. Sweet. Easy. <laughs> <laughs> Let's play fun the Republican. <laughs> I have a 60% chance to win 100 million, but drop dead if you don't. Ooh, 60%. Mm. That's enough to make you maybe. Yeah, that's a, this is a good this is a good question. Yeah. Oh. Drop yeah. dead if you don't. I would. I consider myself to be quite lucky. So I'd you probably are. go for it. If I had Jamie's luck, I'd definitely I feel go like for it. You do have family name luck. Yeah, I feel <laughs> like I'd just be press it but like, yeah, I'd be fine. <laughs> Boop. Oh look, again. Boop. Oh again. But, <laughs> but if I didn't have that sort of luck, I don't think I would chance it because I, I don't, think I don't think a hundred million is worth the chance to just die straight away. Yeah, same. I think I just carry on. Yeah. Nah, this so selfish. I, it's like if I drop dead, then obviously I won't know. Who cares? But like selfish to the people around me. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, maybe not in that case. I'm happy with a no. I'm no. We're all in agreement. Oh, that's a 50 50 split. Yeah. It'd be pretty funny if it was a 60% split, though, eh? Yeah. <laughs> Not dead yet. Where's my money? <laughs> <laughs> All right, last one. All right, last one. Here we go. 
You gain the powers of your favorite superhero, but your friends no longer recognize you. Mm. Oh, that's fine. Because you could be like, Re-teacher. it's me, I swear. Tell me something that only thing you would know. Cool, here's the thing. It's me. Cool. It's got, yeah, Done. true. That's true. It only says recognize. That's, yeah. If I just put a big name badge, it says, hello, my name is Jeffrey Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> it is me, Jimmy. You're just going to have to relearn me it, the way I look now. What is your favorite superhero? Uh, well, if I if I was... It's a hard question. If I could pick one for this and be like Superman, right? Yeah, of course. <laughs> He's like the best at everything. But he isn't my favorite superhero, so actually I suppose as default, it probably wouldn't be him. But if I got to pick what superhero I'd be, it'd be him. I don't really know what my favorite superhero is, but I do really like The Flash, so I'd probably go with that. Nice. Push the button. I'd I'd push this. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's an easy one. Both. Nice. Nice. They're like, what's the best comment? (laughs) Good, I hate people. (laughs) Of course it is. This is your free ins. I do not recognize you. Sorry for my mistake. Just become friends with them again. Yeah, that's what, yeah, <laughs> kind of. exactly. Good for secret identities. They don't that's have any... a good point. Yeah. That's a really good point. Show them a picture of how you looked before. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> this is me, but now I've got buff because I'm now Captain America 2. <laughs> <laughs> right. This has been fun. Something a bit different. Yeah. I'm definitely keen for doing more of this New type flavor. of thing. Nice. If you subscribe to the channel, like you'll the video, see. you'll likely see more of this sort of thing. Mm. But yeah, leave a comment, see if you liked it as well. Cause... We want to know if you will press the button. The button and that there. as well. <laughs> <laughs> but any feedback would be super helpful. But until next time, we'll see you guys later. Goodbye. Stay safe. Love you. Button, 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 button.